What it do is your boy DJ Sounds Great out here in Columbia on DME TV. My boy DJ Sounds Great, what's going on, man? Living the dream, man. It's a beautiful day, beautiful life. Regardless of the virus, it's still being so productive, man. Yeah. What brings you down to Columbia? Oh, man, I was uh, on the Smoke a Strong podcast for Tessalini. Yeah, Tessalini? Man. Okay. Yeah. How did that go? Oh, man, it went great, man. Yeah. Good time. Yeah. Time. yeah, so I mean, you know, anytime you pull up on DME TV, you always have something, something going on, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on? Uh, right now, I'm actually, so I got a bunch of projects, so right now I'm finishing an LP, Throw Out the LP, as it's with my feature album, so most of the songs on there are features from different artists, so I got artists from Augusta, from Columbia, from Charleston, got some artists from New York. It's it's a real it's a real nice matchup. All I'm missing is uh, Atlanta, and it'll be complete. Um, I also do movies now. I didn't do movies last time, so I do movies now. Okay, okay. But, I mean, you covered that. I mean, they, yeah, people yeah, saw that. I mean, you know? If if they if they look, but it's all the addition at least. You know what I'm saying? Okay. About how the movie coming. So COVID nineteen. That's that's what happened. So it's been put on pause, but we're actually gonna gonna start back probably the middle of June and finish it out before the fall. But um, yeah, COVID nineteen put a big pause on it. We were actually almost finished with it, but um, mm. so far it's it's very good, very juicy. Yeah. So we're uh, gonna tell people about a little bit about it, the storyline. So, well, the storyline has actually and, been changed okay. because of COVID nineteen. Right. I actually had I literally had. The U.S. military was going to be in the movie. Okay. I had real police, real firefighters, real fire trucks. I got to switch up the script now. But um, okay. the storyline is pretty much a couple goes out to the woods to get away from everyday life. Uh, the boyfriend uses the bathroom, touches something on a tree. Turns out to be a virus. And uh, it kind of goes way down here from there. So that's all I'm gonna tell you right here in the little snippet, you know. But it's a it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. But what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna make it like a cliffhanger, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be like a a universe where all this weird stuff keeps happening. You know what I'm saying? So kind of like, think of like American Horror Story, something like that. Yeah, Probably a sequel. So yeah. How many sequels you think you might do? It all depends on how crazy I can get with my imagination, but um. They're going to be spaced out, of course, because of how much it actually takes for the FX and costumes and makeup and everything. It, it's, it's a lot. But probably just three. Like the spinoff. But besides that, I have four other movies that it's going to be a little simpler than okay. the, the sci-fi stuff, you know. Okay. Any other movies playing? Um, one's a mafia movie. Um, that's Legends of the Boss. Okay. Based off a song I wrote. Right. Um, another is Sunflower, which actually stars, I believe she's eight or nine years old. It actually stars her. And, uh, you know those memes where it had, like, a picture of a really chaotic scene? Right. Like, the blood all over the place, and it says if you call your friend over to help, what you gonna do? It was, it was inspired by that. Okay. okay. So, I can't wait to do that one. Okay. So, man, let's talk about the process, um, because we didn't get a chance to talk about it. Casting call. Ooh. You know, your process, your process, and, um, and how, you know, what you like to see from actors, you know, what type of actors you like to see. Because maybe someone out there that want to get into acting is scared or they don't know who to, who to look to. Go ahead and, you know. So, first, they look to yourself. Don't look to anybody else but yourself. Okay. You got the juice all inside you. Stars in your eyes. Um, what I like to look for is diversity. Because, of course, this beautiful chocolate here, as far as cinema and as far as you could go with it, is very hard for us. That's why Tyler Perry did what he did. Mm -hmm. He pretty much made his own thing. Right. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure he's going a lot further with it um, than, than he tells us. But I like diversity, all kinds of color, race, creed, nationality. I look for people who can 
pit themselves into the character. So if a person's crazy, I, they're depicting crazy. They're fool. Like you would think, like man, the hell's wrong? Like chill out. They're like, what? I'm acting, and, and like it'll mess you up because they're so good mm -hmm. to pretty much be that character. So that that's the thing that I look for in people that come out to do acting. They they give their all. They give their everything and leave it all on the stage. So it's it's a beautiful thing when you see a regular person come in and say, hey, how you doing? And then when they get on that stage or they get in front of that camera, they transform. You're like, wow. You know. What were some of the highlights from uh, from the casting call that that you can remember? So one of the best, besides, I'm not gonna say that on camera. <laughs> one of the best was uh, I man. I wish I remember his name. It was Jezebel's husband. The guy with the cane. The guy with the cane. Yeah. And when he got up on that stage. First, his voice threw me off. I'm like, oh, man, this guy is extremely proper. But then he started doing the high and karate, yeah. the cane. Hey. And I'm like, man, I was not expecting that from that old man. The icing on the cake was when he grabbed the crutches. He <laughs> 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 started to fight him with the crutches. I was like, wow. That was, that was a highlight. But um, seeing people audition for the same role, seeing the competitiveness and, and acting because you don't really see that in the music industry like everybody goes on and does their turn because they have to wait their turn right. but everybody bringing their own different material they're fighting for the crowd but they bring their own material but to see somebody audition and pretty much fight for that role that's that's something and they're there for you and I, you had some pretty you had some dope actors there man I was like that, that was my first time at a casting call ever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Tricky. So just to be there on the stage and you have actors. And, and I think most of them already had acting experience, correct? Right. Yeah. With the exception of the actual star of the movie, she was, that was her first uh, casting call. Okay. And now she's actually, uh, she's in, well, she's in another one of my movies. But she's in a whole other movie, Mama Jones, with Jay Paul Demi. Right. Yeah. And she's part of a, a upcoming, like a comedy spoof series of Love and Hip Hop. So she's on that as well. Okay. So, okay. so she's just like going up, up, up. So, actually, uh, another one of the actresses, um, Nydia Madisinski, mm -hmm. she's in the Mama Jones movie as well. So they just keep going up and up and up. So it's 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 really a blessing to to be able to do that, especially for my first movie, my first full length movie. Right. Like, to have that many people come out was, was pretty great. So, it's amazing. So, so why a uh, full-length movie instead of a short for your first film? Well, I kind of already do shorts as far as the interviews go and music videos, especially when covering events and everything. Um, I like to tell stories. And as the, the script evolved, it kind of got longer and longer. It was supposed to only be like 30 minutes of juiciness. But it's about, about about an hour and a half, maybe. But um of course COVID might make that a lot shorter now. <laughs> yeah. But um I wanted to compete with the big guys. Um I've I've been blessed to find the proper distributor to go to you know D V D so once it's done it's gonna be in Best Buy and Target and Walmart and everything. I'm I'm blessed to be able to have found that and everything. But uh I wanna be able to compete with the big guys because one day I'll be up there you know the award shows or whatever right. and, you know it'll be like have my own master class you know what I'm saying yeah hopefully DBTV will film that you now know, you know we'll be there man. come on man you know what I'm saying I don't want nobody filming it but but Kevin CEO okay you know what I'm saying where you know, we have uh, this Rona virus COVID-19 whatever you want to call it yeah, um, you know, how has it hindered you? Or what, what are some of the things you've been doing to stay busy during, during this time? Well, I'm still essential. So um, I still have my day job. You know, the funding from that builds the dream. But uh, I've been recording music like crazy. Um, I've had to take a pause to, you know, to keep the welfare of the actors and actresses. That's, that's first priority. Make sure everybody stays safe and okay. Um... But I've been recording music like crazy to finish the uh, Thrill Ride, the LP. 
Actually, as a matter of fact, I got a, I got a artist from Montgomery on that too. Uh, so Alabama in the house, you know what I'm saying? But um, I've been working on that like crazy, networking, studying, um, building my relationship back with a lot of people in Atlanta to get that bridge back. Same thing with Charleston and uh, Charlotte. I've been doing a lot of networking, a lot of talking and reconnecting and rekindling to make the comeback extra strong. You know what I'm saying? When's when DME TV and Sound with TV gonna do something, man? Hey, honestly, when, when COVID goes away, yeah. Um, because I actually had a festival planned for this year. It was gonna be, it was gonna be Edgefield, I think it was. Okay, right outside of Aiken, Edgefield, something like that in that area. <laughs> it was a uh, thirty acres of land. It's gonna be an actual festival. Um, I already had the DJs picked out. I had a good lineup. I already had entertainment for the kids, bouncy houses, popcorn, candy, you know, candy drink, people in the costumes. It's going to be big. I was actually working on getting a Ferris wheel, too. Like, it's going to be a legit, you know, music festival. Right. COVID happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a small setback, but um, it I is feel big. that, you know, I yeah. feel like... Then when it comes back around again, it's it's definitely gonna be okay. Okay. on another level. You're gonna take it to another level. Now, so. now, I, now, because of COVID, everybody's stuck. Right. So I'm able to talk to people more because of that. You know, I don't gotta work or I gotta be at the club. Right. I gotta do like you stuck. Yeah. Where you going? You gotta answer that phone now. Pick up the phone. Answer that DM. You know what I'm saying? And like you start working or whatever. So like, I've been able to work with more artists because of the situation, which is great. So I can't wait to start doing the videos and get back out there and do the networking. Because I have a promo team on my side now. Okay. So when it comes to doing these interviews and videos, I got an extra power behind the machine now. You feel me? So right. I can't wait. But next Friday, down in uh, North Augusta, we actually have a nice event going on for the artists and for the families. It's a drive-in movie theater and drive-in concerts. You pretty much drive in, get your popcorn and refreshment, sit in your car, sit around your car, and watch the watch the movie that's going to be there or whatever featured artist. So if you're an artist and you want to come perform some clean music, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's going on from May 29th to September 18th every Friday. Okay. Summer for the fun. So, man, before we get out of here, man, go ahead and drop your social media info for the people. So it ain't changed if y'all been following along man, you still gotta, with the DMV still gotta, TV. Still drop it, man. You, you, you know the routine. This is actually the shortest one we've done so far. <laughs> yes, yeah. But um, you go to djsoundsgreat.com. You can Google me. That sounds great. Or DJ Sounds Great. That's S-O-U-N-D-Z space. G R A T E, cause my sound grease the chalkboard in your mind, baby. But um, it's an oxymoron. But yeah, that's where you can find me: Instagram, Facebook. My music is everywhere. I'm easy to connect with, man. So if you want to do a movie, if you want to do a photo shoot, if you're a model, a dancer, you want to have you be the focus. Hit me up. Cause I have uh, three videos that is focused mainly on the dancer. So they're the start of the video. My words are playing in the background, but they're the start of the video. So if you're a dancer, hit me up. If you're an actor, actress, hit me up. If you're a model, hit me up. If you're an artist, hit me up before I reach a million. You don't have to, you don't have to pay when you hit me up. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> The plaque is coming, baby. That's what's that up, plaque man. is coming, man. Uh, good afternoon, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, we're doing fine. How are you? How great, are you? great. Are you here for the audition? Yeah, I am. Yes, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name? Monet. Hey, Monet. My name is Ken. And who are you? I'm Imani. I'm Monet's best friend. You're on Monet's best friend. Yes, so you're yes. here as the, the cheering yes. section, right? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, well, I need you to show me what you can do. Yeah. All right. 
The stage is over there. The dressing room is to the back. I want you to come in now and show me your best wares. Now, I'm going to be very difficult. We're looking for the best. And I'm sure you got a lot of talent, a lot of ability. So I want you to do your best. Yes. All right? Now, again, the stage is there. The dressing room is to the back. Okay, Good luck you. to you. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, what do you think about all this? I'm excited for you. Yeah, I'm excited as well. What do you want to do out there with me? Yeah. You know, assuming that I'll do good at the audition and everything. Yeah. You might go get something to eat or something. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? <he>? Yellow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because you're yellow. All right. You should really make it a habit to be so Don't try to fake your heart like the nature Be happy with the person you really are We're gonna link though For sure It's been a pleasure being here on DME TV Again, grow with your boy Check out everything DME TV. They're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. They're on YouTube. Check them out. Matter of fact, ain't you about to get a Vimeo or something? Who, me? They're there too. Just got to look real hard. <laughs> <laughs>